Hey everyone, it's your girl Maddie here, aka Beavermosh, and today I'm talking to you about Whispers of Lore from the Cypress based receivers coming off of Gates of Hell Records. And on his debut full length, Receiver gives us some slick, epic heavy metal, a, a package that really calls back to those more theatrical new wave of British heavy metal bands. I definitely hear perhaps some pagan altar coming through. There is a folksiness here that I find quite charming, but it's not in substitution of the heavy riffage and these rousing passages that the band is able to easily tap into. There are choruses here that perfectly embody this mystical, otherworldly mood and feeling that makes heavy metal so attractive to me. It makes it a one-of-a-kind experience. Unite kicks things off with these sick, rolling, psyche leads that are met with these big towering strums and, and drum hits eventually morphing into this rummaging bass line and soaring vocals that come through with this battle readiness the whole thing has this effective marching feel to it you're gonna want to pump your fist while listening the riffs have such a weight while the tone has this delicious crunch it's just pure heavy metal the vocals are fantastic so much force is felt and these marvelous melodies star chaser gives us these grisly chugging guitars has such a vintage feel to it while later on there's this solo that has this barreling almost deep purple vibe to it there are special moments that keep coming up on this record like when the band sings the truth is lined within the stars and i'll be the one sung with such muscle and, and such a charm it feels completely mythical and that just speaks to the songwriting here this album has hella tunes that get stuck in the dome for me. On Trespasser, the guitars do this stuttering, almost staccato thing. It, it sounds and feels kind of like a machine gun while the drums continue to have this propulsive hop gives the album, all the tracks, this exciting forward momentum and energy. The vocals have such a theatrical element to them here kind of channeling this aggressive gruff messenger as if characters are being tapped into and acted out upon through the vocals the whole composition here the the lyrics the tone the the patterns it definitely feels like there's some early maiden surfacing Falling to Dust starts with this beautiful, reverb-heavy, kind of jazzy intro with even some, I would say, classical touches. Really sets the atmosphere for the rest of the track. So when the metal does kick in, it feels elemental, really spacey, and has this ethereal quality to it. I love how when the pre-chorus comes in, the song kind of slows down, and you get these thundering strums before the chorus skips forward and this track also has probably the darkest bridge on the record once again I'll, I'll name draw pagan altar but there's also some early sabbath kind of creeping in here on raiders of the night the drums just pound with a chaotic bite while the guitars fly in with these aggressive scything riffs and then i love on the chorus the gang vocals it's punkish it's aggressive and it's just mean while the previous track gave us some of the darkest moments on the record i feel like this track is the record's most energetic it has this punkish delivery and this rawness to it arrow has this magical witchy swing to it the harmonized vocals in the chorus are so lively and infectious it's as if you're in a pub just letting off some steam there are these bright, shimmering melodies that kind of 
fly off of the monstrous heavy rips. It's an interesting use of color that receiver has. The music is dark and ceremonial at times, but also uplifting at others. The band knows how to tap into different moods and feelings at the right time. The stomping groove on the ending title track has this old timey feel married to this pulsating riff and the album on this victorious sword raising note it kind of works to give the album closer it really wraps things up very nicely if you love that early trad metal sound of the 70s you're gonna dig this i'm pretty sure of it a strength of this record is the songwriting these are tracks that have a ton of replay value and, and hooks, I feel. Topped us off with great riffs, convicting and soulful vocal performances, and just a swagger in how this is produced. I praise for this one. And hey, those are my thoughts. If you like what I do, tell me. Hit that like button. It'd mean the world to me if you'd consider subscribing. I have a Twitter you can follow. Link to that is in the bio of this YouTube video. Leave a comment. I love getting to engage with those. Hey, I have a Patreon now. I am putting exclusive content there for Patreon supporters. Don't feel any pressure, but it is a way. It would mean a lot to me. Help keep this channel more sustainable. Thank you to my patrons already. And hey, you right there, keep it metal. My name is Maddie, a.k.a. Beavermosh, and I am signing off.